peace to you, grace of uh, uh, the Allah. Uh, thanks to everyone for organizing the event. Mr. Popov, this is our second session of the working group. Uh, we uh, uh, greet and do welcome the group Russia and the Islamic World. We also greet representatives of Tatarstan and also welcome the efforts of the Russian state aimed at supporting the work of our group, our meetings, and we support the efforts aimed at fighting terrorism. Uh, we are now uh, fighting a phenomenon, a multifaceted phenomenon. Now, uh, one of these uh, facets is uh, Islamophobia. Uh, uh, Muslims in various countries of the world now face uh, a distorted view of them, uh, as if all of the Muslims, all of them, are kind of criminals. But uh, there should be differentiation. We should distinguish here. We should oppose terrorism and extremism, and uh, this is uh, being done by many specialists. And uh, we should uh, keep up our uh, efforts in this uh, direction. But uh, we should also not ignore the fact that many Muslims are subjected to the influence of this extremism and terrorism. The Islamic world, I regret to say, also has a skewed view that uh, there is uh, uh, there is also a view that uh, there is a division inside uh, Islam, uh, various uh, schools of thoughts inside Islam, and uh, uh, Western mass media feed this. Uh, view this idea. In this way, uh, they try to split the Islamic world, uh, while we, on uh, the uh, contrary, try to unite uh, the Islamic world in uh, its uh, coherent and homogeneous stand against uh, terrorism. Mr. Mikhailov, in his presentation, has uh, claimed uh, that uh, military strikes are not insufficient in fighting terrorism. What should be done is uh, fighting in the sphere of ideology, of in the sphere of propaganda. Uh, financing issues are also important. Uh, and uh, terrorists continue to receive uh, finance. In Egypt, uh, we have uh, one of the important fi uh, fronts in fighting terrorism. Uh, we uh, have mentioned this previously, probably uh, people did not listen to us uh, attentively enough, but uh, we are in the same trench. We are all in the same trench, and this is a very important trench in fighting terrorism. And uh, we are facing this terrorism in Sinai, in the Sinai Peninsula. And uh, in Egypt, um, we are also fighting terrorism uh, and uh, its manifestation in Syria. And uh, uh, we are uh, putting an, uh, much effort into this fight. But uh, <coughs> unfortunately, we are suffering now from a new wave, a new wave of attacks from uh, on the part of the states which support terrorism uh, and uh, I'm talking here of several of uh, Islamic states there are a number of states uh, which try to uh, put pressure on Egypt as far as terrorism and fighting terrorism is concerned they resort to various means here we hear uh, many condemnations coming from Western countries and other countries directed at Egypt. We hear that uh, 
Of course, Egypt is doing a lot uh, to fight uh, this global evil. But uh, in actual, uh, in actual, uh, uh, in, in fact, uh, we are witnessing a different uh, uh, sentiment. And uh, these are the conditions in which uh, we are fighting for universal human values. One of the previous speakers referred to, to the history of uh, Islam, to some of the elements of uh, Muslim life, about uh, the caliphate, I must say that uh, we discuss uh, these issues in uh, the High Council on Islamic Affairs. And here I would like to uh, make some clarification and say that jizya is not a sign of injustice on the part of Muslim towards uh, representatives of other religions. On the contrary, it was a means of achieving justice when uh, people from other confessions received the freedom, freedom of conscience to follow their beliefs. This is uh, uh, this refers to caliphate as well. Uh, we should have a correct approach to it too. Now, the uh, countries which are suffering uh, uh, from terrorism and extremism Uh, such countries comprise Egypt, because e Egypt is subjected to attacks, attacks of criticism. Uh, you journalists participate uh, in our second conference. And uh, uh, you should cooperate with your colleagues, your uh, colleagues in your countries, to help uh, to help improve our site, to make it more fruitful. Now, uh, the previous speaker suggested uh, establishing uh, the Arabic language website of uh, our conference, uh, and I think we should support this appeal. And now I would like to return to, to give our document to Professor Popov.